And now, it's time for this month's widget with MC Haggis and Seamus McFamous. He's right again. Hey? Boy, that guy is 1,029 for 1,029. Oh, hey there, I'm MC Haggis, and this here is Seamus McFamous. And we're here to show you this month's widget. Show it to him, Seamus. <laughs> it's the community garden fidget. Now, it might look like an ordinary pea pod, but you won't be able to put this fidget down. Hey! Hey! Uh, families can put others first by taking turns working the fidget while discussing the included questions about how we can be more humble in our everyday lives. So get yours today! So what made you scream? Oh! <laughs> the bee comes out of the bee pod. Hey! That's pretty clever. One, two, three. Two, one, three, one, two, one. by you forever I'm your friend you'll always be right here with me I'm so thankful for your love no matter what I do I know this is true you're by my side you'll never leave I want to thank you God for showing me who I am you're so good you help me to understand Those are some scary pigs.
What are you doing, John? Ah, uh, I'm going green. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Oh, it's a power plant. <laughs> Welcome, Welcome to, to the So and So Show. I'm John. That's Brandon. Hello. And boy, oh boy, do we have a show for you today? That's right, John. And a big surprise. Yeah, we have a wait. <laughs> We have a surprise? I don't lie, John. And this is a surprise that's been over a week in the making. Really? Yep. Oh. <laughs> I, I, are you gonna give me a clue or something about what it is? Uh, well, do you remember the community garden? Oh, uh, how could I forget? Yeah, John and I have been working in a community garden this month, and it's not just the mm. plants that have grown, we've grown as well. Aww. Uh, we have? Yep. And now, I present to you my first early spring harvest. Wow! I, 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 I'm speechless. <laughs> I, 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 I don't even know what to say. I know, right? Are those fresh strawberries? Mm -hmm. I love fresh straw. What are you doing? Sorry, I. Okay, okay. That was very rude of me, I didn't even ask. I'm very sorry, okay. May I have a fresh strawberry? No! Ow! <laughs> what? Are you, what are you doing? Are you just gonna eat them all? They're mine! Okay. All of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What about, what about these, um, what about these uh, radishes? I love radishes, they're like spicy. Mine! Ow! My precious says. What is wrong? What about the lettuce? Mm. Can I have the lettuce? No. Kale? Kale. Yeah, the kale's good. good. No. Mm. What, about, what about the grape grapefruit? Mm. Oh man! Mm. So are you telling me that I can't try any of it? No! Then why did you bring it in here, Brandon? I wanted you to see all my hard work. What? You could have just shown me a picture if you didn't want me to eat any of it. That wouldn't do it justice. Oh, oh, I'll show you justice. No, no, I said. Give me that. That's mine! My apple! Ah. Oh, oh, oh. No! No! Oh. 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 What have we done? Yeah. It's Bible story time with Kellen. I must say that is one way to eat your vegetables. But they're all gone, they're ruined. Well, can't you grow anymore? Well, I mean, this is just the early spring harvest. The first wave, if you will. <laughs> there should be more stuff coming in a little later. Good, good. Then what are you gonna do with all the food? Sounds like there's gonna be way too much food for you to eat, alone. Huh. I don't know, I haven't thought about it. Well, maybe today's story will give you some ideas. Take it away, Kellen. Today's Bible verses come from the book of Philippians, which is a letter written by the Apostle Paul to a church he started in the Greek town of Philippi. Now, Paul wrote many letters to churches, mostly when things were not going well at that church. But he wrote to the church of Philippi when things were going great. And he wanted to encourage them, but also warn them about a few things. Here's how he begins this part of the letter. Don't do anything only to get ahead. Don't do it because you are proud. Instead, be humble. Value others more than yourselves. None of you should look out just for your own good. Each of you should also look out for the good of others. 
Paul was saying that we shouldn't just think about our own wants and needs. We should think about the needs of other people too. We should be humble. And here to help us remember just that is the cheer squad. Yo, yo, Jackie. Uh, what up, Dee Dee? Well, what you want to tell these folks around here? Girl, listen to this. Don't just do what you want to do. Be humble. Don't just try to get ahead. Be humble. Do not be proud and do not be selfish. Value others more than yourself. Be humble. Boom! You're not breaking that verse down any better than that. Be humble, don't be selfish, and put others first. That's what Paul wrote. Let's see what he wrote next. As you deal with one another, you should think and act as Jesus did. In his very nature, he was God. Jesus was equal with God. But Jesus didn't take advantage of that fact. Think and act as Jesus did. Whoa, that's a tall order. But one of the reasons Jesus came was to give us an example of how we should live. So when we deal with one another, we should think of how Jesus lived. Let's hear what the cheer squad has to say. Jackie. Yeah, Dee Dee. Now you know we're the best. Oh yeah. But we gotta be humble, right? That's right. And Jesus showed us the perfect way. When someone needs a friend, think and act like Jesus did. When you lose or when you win, think and act like Jesus did. You can't go wrong, you must admit when you think and act like Jesus did. Nice. Paul wrote that Jesus was equal to God. Jesus could have demanded that people honor and serve him, but that's not how Jesus was. Now, listen to what Paul wrote next. Instead, he made himself nothing. He did this by taking on the nature of a servant. He was made just like human beings. He appeared as a man. He was humble and obeyed God completely. He did this even though it led to his death. Even worse, he died on a cross. Jesus came to earth to serve others, and he did that in so many ways. But his greatest act of service was that he humbled himself to die on the cross for you and for me. He put us, he put you first. Let's hear one more from the squad. Didi, do you know what time it is? Yeah, it's about 11.15. Exactly! And it's also time to get humble. Oh, come on. H-U-M-B-L-E What does it mean to show humility? H-U-M-B-L-E It's serving other people instead of worrying about me. H-U-M-B-L-E Jesus came to earth to show us how to be. H-U-M-B-L-E Then he died on a cross for you and me. Let's give it up for the cheer squad. So there you have it. It's important that we put others first, before ourselves even, because that's what Jesus did for us. So for instance, we shouldn't be so proud of ourselves that we refuse to share our fruits and vegetables. I think that seems best, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Thanks, Kellen. <laughs> no problem, guys. I'll see you next time. Will do. See ya. Listen, I really am sorry for ruining our, your vegetables and, and fruits. Are you kidding me? This was my fault. I should have been putting you first and, instead of trying to be the first to put all the food in my mouth. <laughs> so I'm sorry. And you know what? I, I'm gonna have another harvest, and uh, next time you can help me in the garden. Is that oh, all right? Yeah. Okay. Friend, that really means a lot. Oh, <laughs> look at that one blueberry. No! Oh no! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's a habit. <laughs> I, I'll I'll find it for you. It's sorry. All right. It's all right. 
<laughs> Reveal the question. Oh, so what are some ways you put others first? It can be as simple as holding the door for someone or just asking how their day is going or actually stopping what you're doing and helping someone who needs it. Yeah, you can also listen to someone and hear what they're saying instead of just waiting for your turn to talk. Yeah. And usually when you listen, you can see how to best help. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Oh, well, I guess that's the show. <laughs> yep. Oh, how is it? Oh, so good. <laughs> you can barely taste the floor. Yes. That's all for this week, everyone. Uh-huh. We'll see you next time for a brand new show. I'm gonna find you another one. No, you don't need to. You don't really, you really don't need to. Oh, wait. You got any melon? Here's a strawberry. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, so good. Mmm. 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 Mmm.